Hi, I'm also known as Bog, and this is the second time I recorded this because I goofed up the last one. So, uh, I'm going to wrap up my first week of Fortnite Panini Series 2 trading card coverage by just taking a little bit of an overview at what we pulled in the first week. So, uh, just to recap, I went ahead and I started by getting 12 value packs for $5 each, uh, 60 bucks plus tax at Target. Uh, each one had 22 cards in it, uh, cards in it, and uh, with that mix, um, I was able to, in the first uh, 100 cards, I think I only missed two cards, 94, 98, and in the first 170, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, um, I only missed 10 cards in the first 170 out of the set doing that. So that's a really good way to get the bulk of your set going. 60 bucks. All I've got left at this point are the legendary bases, basically, uh, some of the epics, um, and two of the uncommons. So not very much. Um, a couple of things people can help me out with. The location cards, the highest number I got was M12. And so I'm wondering if 12 is the set number on locations. I wouldn't be surprised if it went up to 16 or 20. Uh, but let me know uh, what the set number on those is, if you know below how many location cards there are. Uh, and go up here, move some space here. Now on the um, pickaxe, the harvesting tool cards, the highest number I have is H37. So again, I'm wondering on those, what those go up to, uh, how high they go. So if you know what the highest numbered pickaxe uh, card is, uh, let me know. I think the reason that they split those off, I don't think we're going to see hollows, optochromes, or ice shards of the M cards or the H cards, just the single set numbers. I think we will see versions of those for every card, 1 through 200. Um, basically, you know, uh, and we'll take a look here. So we bought six or 12 value packs, and in those 12 value packs, we ended up getting two optochromes, number 28 and number 143, so an epic and a, uh, uncommon. And then we got four hollows. Um, we got a uncommon, uh, let's see, I'm gonna make a little more room here. Away. So we've got the two optochromes. We've got our uncommon and our rare hollows, and then we've got an epic and a legendary hollow. Uh, one of the questions I had was why there are triangles in the background on some of the hollows and not others. Um, and the triangle art is in the background on the majority of the cards, if not all of the cards. It's also on the optochromes. And one thing is, I think the uh, uncommon and rare hollows don't have the triangles. I think that the, it's kind of hard to see, I'm thinking that maybe the epics see that little triangle pattern in there let me see if i can get it on camera i think that the epics and legend there it is see that in the background there those lines i think the epics and legendary hollows have the triangle pattern in the background maybe i'm just speculating off the cards i pulled though so far whereas the uh less common hollows are just the flat background print um, you can take a look here, compare like a, a hollow to the optochrome. And I actually really like the optochromes, they look nice. Um, they do look a little fancier than the hollows themselves. They do bow a bit, I imagine that's part of the process. So you can actually tell them real easy in the power card pack because they, they bow out a little bit. Now, and then I didn't, uh, let's take a look here too. So, the uh, I brought out my Hollow Drift from Series 1 to kind of compare it here. And if you take a look, it's got that same kind of flat, but you can even see the pattern within the hollowing. It's actually very it's closer to the texture, if you can call it that, on the uh, Sergeant Sparkle. Let's see if I hit him. It's about the same finish. Um, now, as far as like an ice shard goes, 
uh, since I don't have one from this series yet, I just have one, uh, some from last the series one. I bring it out though, and you can tell the ice shard is way different than the optochrome or the hollow with the triangles or the flat hollow. And um, you know, you can see too on both of these the. The ice shard, it's most no noticeable behind the card, but if you notice, you catch it at the right angle, the ice shard pattern is on top of the character image as well. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to bring those out to show you guys the differences uh, for the opti optichrome and the hollow, and uh, an example of what the 2020 Series 2 ice shards will probably look like. Um, hopefully I'll find some soon so we can know for sure. Uh, but uh, pulling wise, you know, it looks like you're getting two hollows for every one optochrome. And while, you know, a, an uncommon optochrome is not as cool as, like, say, a legendary optochrome, it's still an optochrome. So don't cheapen out and trade those light. I traded some of my uncommon shards and hollows uh, for Series 1 probably lower than I want because if someone's trying to get the optochrome set or the hollow set they're going to need that card just as bad as they need 122 um so me i'm not going to trade an optochrome for anything less than two hollows uh, i'm not going to trade a hollow for anything less than two legendaries so four legendaries for an optochrome for me uh but i'm just kind of figuring it out that's just what i'm seeing based on my first round of pulls from this first week um i hope that that is information everybody enjoys getting. I hope you guys look like looking at the cards and opening some packs with me this week. Um, I'm hoping to find some more merchandise and do more pack openings uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, in the meantime, like, comment, share, subscribe on the channel. I also do comic book stuff, uh, sci-fi stuff like The Expanse and Star Trek is on a different channel. It's pros and cons. You can check that out too. Uh, but you can find any of my stuff by, uh, if you type in AKA Bog on Google, it will pull up. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, good luck collecting.